After the hour, welcome back. Now, we, you and I joke all the time. I tell people I'm the most fortunate guy you'll meet today. Yep. You say I'm the lucky, you're luckiest business guy, in the, world. guy in the world. I think we've just met the luckiest guy in the world. <laughs> Joe Jeanette, how did the lottery change your life? It put me in NASCAR. Pretty much, uh, I've always been a fan now. I'm an owner. I'm Joe Jeanette. I won $75.6 million from the Virginia Lottery, and this is what I got. In May 2009, Joe Danette became the third largest winner in the Virginia Lottery's 24-year history when he hauled in a jackpot of $75.6 million. If I can win, anybody can win. Like 75% of lottery winners, Joe opted for the lump sum payout and after taxes, deposited a check in the neighborhood of $25 million. With some of those winnings, he was able to make his wildest dream of owning a NASCAR Truck Series team a reality. Hitting the lottery and, and winning the money I did pretty much made a dream of mine come true. Yeah, this is what I've always wanted. But before he hit the jackpot, Joe was scraping bottom. 47 years old, an unemployed contractor, Joe was living with his mother in Fredericksburg, Virginia. I was just here. Every average day guy, January of 2009, I got laid off from the company I was working for in Northern Virginia. Did things around there, odd jobs here and there to make ends meet. To get to the point where I had a couple hundred dollars in the bank. This is pretty much the road I traveled on every day, going to work, going to the store. Almost any convenience store or gas station along the way, I've stopped and bought lottery tickets. It's one of the stores right there. That one, that one. <laughs> I lived about two miles down the road, and came by here every day three or four times, and buy my tickets. Well, this is where it all started, May 1st, 2009. Walked in here, just like I'm getting ready to walk in here now, I need 23 mega millions. The average American spends $187 a year playing the lottery. In the year before the win, Joe spent $500 on tickets. I myself, I buy $23 in tickets. Let the computer pick 10, pick three of them myself, because I couldn't figure out a bunch of numbers to choose. So I was like, I could come up with three sets of numbers and that's it. May 1st, I went ahead and bought lottery tickets, and May 2nd, woke up, got on the computer, went to the lottery website, looked. So I went ahead and I went, well, I'll look at my numbers got that number, I, went, I saw a few of the other ones that I thought I had, and it was like I started reading them, like, oh, crap. I said, I hit it. It's all been a wild ride since. Joe was driving a beat-up 10-year-old truck. Within hours of claiming his winnings, that all changed when Joe made the biggest purchase of his life. Every guy wants cars, but I bought the ones I've always wanted. This is my baby. 2008 40th anniversary, GT500 KR, Shelby. This was the first thing I bought. I'll always have this car. Like Joe, most winners buy a new set of wheels with their winnings. But Joe didn't stop at one. All we need right here are the keys to all of our toys. And in the two years since his win, he's paid cash for $600,000 worth of vehicles. Always going to get more. It's just, what's the next toy I get? When I walk into a place, if it catches my eye and I want it, I buy it. Joe's got his eye on a new toy. And since his win, he's got money to burn. I actually thought about coming into places like this all the time. But what kept me from walking in the door was money. Now that doesn't stop me from walking in the door and generally walking out with something. What kind of toys are you looking for? Four-wheelers. Four-wheelers. ATVs. Great. Yeah, ATVs, yeah. You, you think in utility or sport? Sport. Sport. Let me show I you what I don't have any use for utility. I don't do anything. That sounds great. I'm not real familiar with the riding of them and all that, but I don't want to get something cheap. Kids. How much that one run? That one is $89.49. I think I'll take it. What's the top speed on this guy? 35 miles per hour for you. What's the price on that one? That one's $36.99. $36.99, that's it? How's it feel? Hey, that feels pretty good. I like that. 
Do you pay in cash, credit, or financing? Oh, cash. Sounds okay, great. Anything I buy is cash. Great. My wife's going to kill me for it, but... It's a big toy store. How well, can you not buy something? I, I mean, it's something I want. I know I want it. All right, let's sit down and see what we can do. Sounds great. Follow me. And that's your total out the door there, Joe? Okay, well, I think I'll take it. Joe has spent less than a week's interest on the 25 million bucks he took home from the win. Before 2009, the idea of owning even one home was out of the question for Joe. Since the jackpot, he's bought four. He's currently living here in a half million dollar four bedroom house. I never thought I'd own my own home, much less buy a half million dollar home and pay cash. In my house, I've got a lot of rooms that I like. My favorite room, I can live in my basement, my NASCAR room. For over 20 years, Joe has been another of the nation's millions of NASCAR fans. But with his winnings, he's created a shrine to his beloved sport that would be the envy of any gearhead. This is my playground. I purchased this hood at an auction, a charity auction in Richmond. Kyle Busch's hood autographed. Anybody can get a hood, but if you get one that's been raced, it's a whole different story. From this end of the shelf, all the way around, if anybody has won a championship in cup level, their car is up there. It's a collection that's pretty rare, because if I tried to sell it, the whole set as a set, I could guarantee I get forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 for it. Everything I have down here, I could probably get $150,000, $175,000. But I don't need to do that. I'm never going to get rid of this stuff. If it wasn't for the lottery, I wouldn't be here. <laughs>